This is the wig. This is the sensational uh what lace, y'all. This is the what lace Lena. And I got her in the color balayage mocha. So this is a 13 by 6, you guys. Full lace parting, like lace from ear to ear, and you get six inches of parting space. Love it. Combs in the front, combs in the back, all that. Let's get into it, girl. Like this unit is like everything that I could have wished for. Um, I did kind of mess up the curl pattern a little bit, which I'm a little upset with, but um, yeah, these curly wigs, I always just jack it up every time. I don't know why, but yeah, so this is, I'm just showing y'all what it looks like fresh, fresh out the box. Like I was like, not sure what I was gonna do, but I'm lying, I knew what I was gonna do. I always do a side part when I do these curly units um, because I just, I don't know, a, side, a deep side part on a curly unit, girl. Ooh-wee. <laughs> so that's what y'all see me doing here. I'm just parting the unit. I kind of went for like a deep C-shaped part and kind of brought it into the front a little bit so I can get that baby hair swoop. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that little swoop that connects. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> so I did go in with my hot comb. I kind of wanted the, I didn't like the way that the hair was curly, like starting at the root. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of wanted it straight and then going in the curly, which is how I usually do like my human hair curly wig. I usually like, uh, like straighten the like front part. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the same with the synthetic wig, but it wound up kind of like messing up the curl pattern by doing that. Um, so yeah, be cautious with this, especially with curly units, y'all. Be careful and try not to like comb through it and everything. Look, I'm I'm telling y'all, but I need to be telling myself. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like y'all see me doing, I'm just going in sections. I'm going in sections and I'm like straightening that out. I did go in with the famous tweezer scissors. Yes, I said it right this time. The tweezer scissors and um, kind of pluck that hairline. Um, I only did like a certain part on this side, um, on this unit from like the front to like the side, like, like three fourths of the unit I only plucked because the other side is not going to be shown. So like, why would I, you know, um, now I did find that I did have to kind of like, uh, recurl and like twist the hair. So what I did here is I, um, combed the, like there was, I took like little sections and I like combed the hair like as straight as I can get it. And then I kind of went in with my finger and twisted it back um, just to get it back to the curl. Like I said, I, I messed this up, y'all. So I had to figure out a way to, to put her back, put her back. <laughs> but this wound out working in my favor. Um, it just took a little bit more time, but, you know, it's all good. Um, so I'm cutting the lace here, you guys. Um, I, I do use my pinking shears. I found out they were called pinking shears. I just call them zigzag scissors, but yeah link in the um, Amazon storefront of course um, so check that out um, and now I'm putting it on you guys um, I really like the way that this unit looked already I'm like okay I gotta do something else though you know I don't I wasn't sure um, so I did go ahead and glue that little side on y'all I was being real lazy with this install like I said the same part that I plucked is the same part that I glued down like just this little piece right here nothing more nothing less <laughs> so i glued that down and then i got into the baby hair swoop you guys so i pulled the little piece out from the front and then i uh, went in and i just swooped it with the um got to be gel i did use that gel like i always do the one in the black bottle um that's what i use for baby hairs on synthetic units so i did three little swoops for this one um uh just because i kind of wanted that i didn't want the hairline really showing I kind of wanted to finesse the baby hairs, you know what I'm saying? So I did the three. I did go ahead and put a little bobby pin in the side. I don't know if I showed that, um, just to kind of hold everything into place. And boom, like this was it. Such an easy and pretty install. Um, I mean, it wasn't easy because I did have to do um, some steps, but you know, you have to make these wigs your own, you guys. Um, and you see me right here, I'm just 
further messing up, destroying that curl pattern. And I just can't stop, won't stop. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> but it wound up coming out together, you guys. Like, this was so cute. Now, I did go in with my press powder like I usually do. And I put it in the part as well as the parts of the lace that are showing. Um, just so that it can, like, not be white and be, like, brown. You know what I'm saying? So... Yes, you definitely want to use makeup with wigs. Like, I don't know why you aren't, but do it. That if you aren't, do it. <laughs> but yeah, this guy, you guys, this was a flawless unit. I really like this one. I really like the color, like the parting area. Everything was so cute, apart, aside from me destroying the curl pattern. I just really like this one. Uh, my only con was that it is a little bit see through y You know, you can kind of see, like, through it a little bit um but this is the kind of unit that you have to wear and it has to get like nappy you know and it'll fill in those gaps so um yeah you kind of have to wear this one out wear this one for a little bit and it'll just start getting better with time you know so definitely please check this one out you guys let me know what you guys think about this one this is some big hair don't care and i am rocking with it okay let me know down in the comments if you guys have this one or would you try it Let's talk, okay? And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.